Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to have an updated how to beat Arena 12 in 2022. It goes Mega Knight. This is a perfect matchup. Okay, so it goes straight in with that. Now he's just getting desperate. This is what they do. They just start spamming stuff all over the place. Know when to take damage and managing your elixir. I tell you guys that all the time. Here is another example of my opponent crossing their fingers. Let's say you run 10 battles and you run this strategy where you have this in your starting rotation and you just rush it at the bridge. What are they doing? They are crossing their fingers, hoping you don't have a good cycle and they're just hoping it works. So let's say you win two out of those 10 battles. Is that successful? Is that gonna help you get better at the game? The answer to that is no. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. As always, your boy is back into the Clash Royale video, guys. Arena 12 is still a big, big sticking point. All right, we're going to jump into the arena with a new updated deck that I think it's going to work for you guys. And also, we're going to break down the battles as we've done in the past. Let's just jump into the deck real quick. I have to explain a few things, all right? The reason why I come up with decks like this and I talk about a defensive strategy is because nine times out of ten, my opponent beats themselves and I win based on that alone. I try to make it as free to play friendly as well, but the Valkyrie, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and the Tesla, they are obviously your biggest defensive units. Sometimes you can have the Valkyrie protecting the Tesla while it's doing work, whether it's a Mega Knight or whatever, and whatever they're supporting that Mega Knight with, you can put a Mini P.E.K.K.A. on. I'm also seeing in the comments that Sparky, bait and the like are difficult to play against as well i actually think pekka bridge spam specifically would probably be a little bit more challenging with this because we don't have like swarm on the ground but guys i try to build this deck again to be versatile to be able to counter a lot of the cards that you guys will see again going back to mega knight you could defend with this going back to like a mega knight sparky we can defend with this going back to anything in the air like balloon we can defend with it all right guys we're gonna go ahead and get into it and get ourselves some dubs here now again with the hog rider it's never a bad play just to start out now typically you want the hog rider zap in your starting rotation okay so he gets valkyrie and he goes in with the goblins like see that's like kind of unnecessary in my opinion the way he just played that so i'm actually going to go ahead and log this and then we're going to play a little patient i'm not going to go mini pekka on this i don't want to i'm going to go here with this that's fine and then i thought he might play a goblin barrel i thought about that we're going to go take this out and then he goes in with this here so this is what i'm talking about he is beating himself right now the firecracker is a little annoying but what was the skeleton army opposite lane? I mean, he's trying to play some level of bait. I mentioned that already. And now we're going to get a shot off. Now just play a little patient here. we got to build our elixir back up. We're back to Hog Rider. I kind of want the sync of the Hog Rider. His skeleton army is not in cycle with the Hog Rider and the Zap. Guys, we're going to have so much defensive power here. It's crazy. That's why I love this strategy. So we're going to go in with the Hog Rider once again. I'm not... Okay, goes in with the Witch. So we're going to have Valkyrie for the Witch. We're going to go ahead and take that down. I am going to get a Tesla down now, though. Actually, I'm not going to log yet. I'm going to go ahead and let this do some work. Like I said, now we do this. He goes Giant Skeleton. I'm going to log this back. Now, see, these are some of the plays that you guys might not know to make. So we're going to go here, and then we're going to go ahead and zap this right now with a boom. And then we're going to be able to... He's going to get a little bit of work done there. The Musketeer will help out. The Witch will lock on. But still, guys, this is probably where you're going to get to a position where you're going to feel like, man, I'm down. But still come back don't worry about it trust me we're gonna win this okay he's got a skeleton army back in cycle so with this what i'm gonna try to do when i'm in a position like this i'm gonna go ahead and try to fix my cycle so we're gonna go in with the tesla right now let's do that boom and again what is that play right there that's that's why he's going to lose this is what i'm trying to tell you guys right so let's go in we'll let that go down and then we're gonna do this we're gonna go in here with this and then what he's not gonna be able to do is run skeleton army if he does the valkyrie's gonna shred that right we're going to go ahead and let that go. Now he runs it, and that's fine. Now I don't run log yet, right? I'm not going to run log yet. We're going to do this, and I'll have the E-Wizard. He is going to be able to barrel, but I'm going to have the E-Wizard for his barrel. Okay, so we're going to go in now with the mini pack because we got to protect. The Valkyrie would have got a shot off. And then we're going to go in with... Actually, we're going to reset now. Now, again, someone will probably put the Musketeer behind the mini pack. Don't do that. So let's go in with, I guess, let's go Valkyrie here. We're going to keep this a little high. Then we're going to go high Tesla. And this is going to be his mistake. I am going to log this back still. And I'm just going to keep that giant skeleton away. All right. We're going to be good here. Now, I'm going to have to zap. Unfortunately, I will have to zap. Yep. I'm going to zap this because we want the mini P.E.K.K.A. to get to the... Okay. Well, yeah, it does. Perfect. Now, he's going to have a skeleton army, so I got to be careful with that, right? So, we're going to go here. And again, I'm playing a little patient, right? So, he goes in with that. We got a Tesla still on the map, right? So, we're going to do this. I'm not going to worry too much else now. All I need to do is get to another Hog Rider. We'll be good to go. We're probably going to lose most of that. Let's get another Tesla down. He goes Valkyrie opposite lane. We're going to log this back. I'm going to be okay with that. We'll get a mini P.E.K.K.A. down. Again, not a good play for him. He can go barrel. I'm going to let that go. It's strong side tower. Why even worry about it, right? We're going to let this go. I'm going to zap right here. Boom. 
Now, if this was, if your hog rider's like level 10, probably we would have got two shots, right? As opposed to that, but we got the dub, guys. That's how you do it, okay? Notice there's many times in the battle I played a little more patient, and we were down. Not the best starting rotation. I mean, hog rider's always good, but I want zap. You want hog rider zap. So he goes wizard. We know that's one of his supporting units, right? So we're gonna, he goes mega knight. This is a perfect matchup. We're gonna go ahead and go in with the musketeer. Don't go e wizard because he's too fast, right? So we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna go in with this. All right, the Valkyrie is gonna go ahead and clean up the wizard, right? And the firecracker. We take that out. Out, we have a teeny tiny counter push now we're gonna go ahead and let this go he's got a valkyrie so he's running mecha knight valkyrie right but again that's what you're gonna face even in the lower arenas too because people play so defensive like i said so with this here i'm gonna go ahead and go e wizard now now i typically don't do that because again he's too fast so we're gonna go mini pekka here i should have been one tile back you can negate all damage there i didn't think he was gonna have hog rider so he goes in with a pekka now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and run this right because pekka is expensive we're gonna take most of that pekka down we're gonna get a lot of work done here and here's what we're gonna do he had to use an e wizard we're gonna get a tesla down a little bit farther back and then we're just gonna do something like the actually we're gonna pull this over here because we need to pull the pekka and we just gotta guard the tesla from the firecracker notice the valkyrie tesla defense he got no damage there he goes wizard in the back perfect so we're going to set up a musketeer remember musketeer even like any hog cycle deck you want to protect right so he goes in with that we're going to go here he messed that up because he tried to run the hog rider behind the valkyrie so we're going to be okay here he's gonna here's what he's going to do right he's going to have his big mama pekka in this lane here but i'm still going to go in we should we should okay it was mega knight then we're going to be even better shape right here because we're going to do this and we're going to hold that was a bad play for him and he's running pekka and mega knight right and then he's going valkyries how much more defensive can you possibly be now we take the tower he goes in with this again i'm not even worried about this push because we have an e-wizard we can slow down even if he had fireball that doesn't matter look at this defensive stuff he's got going on i'm just going to log this back we're going to have a mini pekka on the hog rider we're going to go ahead and put a valkyrie back here musketeer is still helping taking it all out we can just go opposite lane again i almost want to give the tower up let's just go ahead and zap Okay, so he goes straight in with that. Okay, so I have to go in with... I have to go in with this. I didn't know really what to do there, so we'll go here. And we should be able to take that down enough. He's going to definitely... I'm going to go in real heavy here because he's probably going to get two shots off of that balloon. I think we're going to get a lot of work done, though, still because the bats are going to go down. And he's got minions. And so, again, he goes Lumberjack Balloon at the bridge, right? And he crossed his fingers. All right, we're going to slow roll the Valkyrie here in the back. What we'll do now is we're going to go ahead and get a Tesla down. He goes Bandit. He goes in with the Magic Archer. What we'll want to do here is... Actually, I'm going to let this go. And we're going to go Mini Pekka. He goes Fireball. What was that? I think he was trying to anticipate. Okay, so I don't have a whole lot I can do here. So what I'm going to do, actually is wait to see if he does he's got minion and bats okay i'm gonna i'm gonna zap the bats boom and then uh, i don't think i'm gonna get mini pekka shot oh i did let's go guys that's awesome here's what i don't want to do i don't want to use the musketeer or the e-wizard obviously they're great counters for the balloon okay so it goes bandit right we're gonna have mini pekka for the bandit i'm gonna get so much work done there and another thing too right to the point we basically take that tower just about and then we're gonna go here we gotta log this back right boom all right, so the good dash for him on that, but I'm not going to be worried about this at all because, okay, this is why, right? Because we're just going to do this. The Tesla's still alive. It's going to help. And again, like I said, crossing his fingers at the beginning, I had a bad rotation, but he also let me know his entire win condition. So I already know how to plan for it. And we already can zap this tower away. It doesn't even matter. Let's go here. Now he's just getting desperate. This is what they do. They just start spamming stuff all over the place. He's beating himself. Not worried about any of this. In fact, I'm going to go ahead going with, like, what was that fireball? We'll go Valkyrie here. Boom. Take out that. He has to use something over there. We'll go ahead and zap this. We're going to get this tower with log. It doesn't even matter. And now I guess you got to protect against Balloon. He's waiting for his Lumberjack push. There it is, guys, right? I'm going to go ahead and take the tower now. Let's do it. Then we're going to go ahead and do something like this and pull that away. We're going to pull this back just because. My man, you got to learn how to play. I wanted to start this breakdown off with a mistake that I made by not playing patient, learning my opponent's cards before making any serious moves. And in this case, I went ahead and logged this because he had stab goblins. The log would have been better served if I waited one more second on the goblin barrel. Though I understand my opponent's strategy with this drop of the skeleton army, I do think it was a mistake. He's running obviously a bait with that and the firecracker along with the goblin barrel. We do shut it down with the e-wizard. 
The Valkyrie's going to get held in check with the Musketeer. She does go down. And then we have the Firecracker that gets a little bit of damage. But people that play bait, they overdo it sometimes. They overdo the bait swarm piece of it and the dropping it and spamming it all over the place. If you do that too much, you will not be able to defend. I actually think this was a really good battle because I lost the tower damage advantage, but it shows you how to play patient, let your opponent make some mistakes, and then you capitalize on it. In this case here, I made another mistake actually because the Valkyrie is pretty much holding this down. Now she's not going to take it all out, but I went ahead and used my log on the witch. Knowing he has his Goblin Barrel back in cycle, though he doesn't have the Elixir for it, this is actually where he took the lead. So I was a little impatient. I should have just let the Valkyrie do some work and maybe get a Mini P.E.K.K.A. out here, zap the Skeletons or whatever, and save the Log. Look at what my opponent has on the map. A Firecracker, Witch, Skeletons, Giant Skeleton, and a Valkyrie. And we hold it down, shut it down, with the Valkyrie protecting the Tesla while they do work. Musketeer is also doing work. While we build Elixir, we're going to shut this down, and our whole goal is to get back to that Hog Rider and continue to chip. I'm not sure what my opponent was thinking here, but the turning point of the battle was the mistake that he made by pressuring opposite lane on my strong side tower. Again, let your opponent beat themselves. I ran ahead and rushed Hog Rider. We pretty much take that down. He only has Firecracker down there. I'm not worried about it. He can get the Goblins down if he wants. It's not going to be able to do enough damage, and I'm pretty sure we got this in spell range. I was happy to see Mega Knight, but this is not the ideal defensive setup. The cards are correct, but because I probably overcommitted, I didn't have enough Elixir to get it down in time. You want the Valkyrie, you want the Tesla, and you want the Musketeer, but ideally you want the Mega Knight on the Valkyrie, which will hold everything in place, even the supporting troops, protect the Tesla so it can do work, and also so while the Musketeer helps. Another mistake by my opponent, not only is he running a Mega Knight and a P.E.K.K.A. deck super defensive, he drops P.E.K.K.A. somewhere around here and I knew there was no doubt I could run the Hog Rider. Look at this, because he dropped that seven elixir, I have basically a full health Hog Rider opposite lane and not to mention that's one of his best counters to the Hog Rider. Here is the ideal setup. Valkyrie protecting the Tesla, both doing work, shutting it down. If you can have a Musketeer down as well, you can basically shut down any push inside the game. Know when to take damage and managing your Elixir. I tell you guys that all the time in my fundamentals video, I had a feeling it was going to drop seven at the bridge in the Mega Knight, not managing his Elixir on a mini P.E.K.K.A. that's basically gone. Know when to take damage. He could have just let it go, even if the mini P.E.K.K.A. got one hit, but he used the seven Elixir. I knew I could push this side, would basically take this tower out. And guess what? Valkyrie and Tesla to hold anything else he had in place. He doesn't even have the elixir. The E-Wizard, yes, but he doesn't even have the elixir for the pack of guys. We were in great shape because he did not manage his elixir appropriately. Here is another example of my opponent crossing their fingers. Let's say you run 10 battles, okay? And you run this strategy where you have this in your starting rotation and you just rush it at the bridge. What are they doing? They are crossing their fingers, hoping you don't have a good cycle. In this case, I did not really have a great cycle for this and they're just hoping it works. So let's say you win two out of those 10 battles. Is that successful? Is that gonna help you get better at the game? The answer to that is no. And not only that, he let me know exactly what I have to worry about, his win condition. So I'm already planning now, I got Tesla, I got the E-Wizard, and I have Musketeer. Guess what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna use those cards until I know I need to defend against the Balloon. And not only that, we're gonna go ahead and use cards like the Valkyrie and the Mini P.E.K.K.A. to separate the Lumberjack away from the Balloon, so it's not in its rage. Guys, this was gonna be a simple battle, all because my opponent was hoping. And as just mentioned, using the Mini P.E.K.K.A. to pull the Lumberjack to ensure that the radius of the Rage is not within range of the Balloon. He doesn't even have the Elixir to drop the Balloon. I guarantee you if he did, he would have. But look what we have to shut it down. Musketeer, E-Wizard, Tesla, we're good to go. 12 on his tower in log or zap range, all because my opponent did this. Guys, again, don't play this way, all right? And that's gonna go ahead and do it for this breakdown session. Leave those comments down below. As you always know, I love to help. Thank you again for all the continued support. Until the next video, guys, take care and peace out.